You know these challengers are having a hard time wrapping their mind around the trajectory of this big green egg when it right. flies through the air. They don't think they have enough information to figure out where this thing is going to go. In fact, they do. Trajectory is a simple equation. You've got two components. You've got your angle and you've got your velocity. Once you know that, you can figure out just about everything else. I put together a quick demonstration to replicate that mini barbecue that we launched earlier. Okay. Take this baseball. This is our little barbecue that we launched. I put it inside our slingshot. I put our slingshot at 60 degrees here on the side. I brought it back to just over three feet. When I launched it, it went 45 feet out. See that stereo rack out there? Yeah, with the glass on top of it. That's right, watch. There it is. Nice shot. With that information, I stepped backwards and I figured out how much kinetic energy we're getting off of that throw. With that, we can then take a bigger ball. Of the bocce variety. Like a big green egg. I've calculated that it will land at 20 feet out, exactly where that glass shelf is. Awesome. Every time, it's going to go in that same spot. So just to prove it to you, one more calculation I put together. Same weight, different angle, 40 degrees. We've got the same kinetic energy. You remember that mini barbecue? You see it sitting out there, 30 feet? There you go. You hit it. You're the LeBron James of slingshots, dude. You know your weight. You know your angle. You know that landing spot. You know where that big grenade's going. Good job, man. We've taken the measurements that we got off of that initial mini barbecue launch and determined the kinetic energy that it had when it was getting thrown through the air. Figuring a 50-pound barbecue that launched somewhere in the ballpark of 100 feet, we know that it was in the air for about two and a half seconds. We can get that trajectory. Knowing that trajectory, we can step backwards and we can figure out how much kinetic energy it had when it launched from the slingshot. Now, if we reapply that kinetic energy to the big green egg, which weighs somewhere in the ballpark of 150 pounds, we can figure out how much velocity that will be launched at, and therefore, figure out the trajectory and the landing point. The team is making good progress, but it won't mean a thing if Joe can't figure out where to place the net. Guys, stop the work right now. Bottom line, this looks great, but do you know where this thing is gonna land? And if you don't, I highly suggest figuring that out as soon as possible because if you don't know that, this is all for naught. Basically, all the information you guys need to figure out the trajectory of the egg as it flies through the air and where it's going to land is at your disposal. If you guys haven't figured out the masses, the weights of everything, if you haven't measured the distances of some of the examples that we've shown you, then you need to do that. You need to do it right away because as Zach is saying, we have a system that is designed to destroy a barbecue. Here's the thing. If there's a four mile per hour difference in the velocity that you guys calculate versus the velocity that the slingshot shoots this big green egg, that translates into a 15 foot difference in where it's going to land here in the yard. 15 feet is enough to take that thing clear over and off of the net that you guys are putting together. You need to make sure that this thing is placed with precision. I know this is a lot to take in right now, but do it, man. I want to see you guys win, all right? Just yep. over 16 hours left. Remember okay. that. The team has built a 10 foot by 15 foot nest and placed it where they believe the egg will land, 69 feet out. If they're right, they will each take one home. Three, two, one. 